You're on to the program that takes you through the world of creativity in just 30 minutes. Welcome to Art House. I'm Melinda Akinlami, and as usual, it's going to be an exciting ride. So sit back, relax, and enjoy in a moment. It is well to dream. As long as we live, we shall continue to dream. Right inside this building in Lagos, Southwest Nigeria, a story is being told. A tale that speaks on the many thought patterns we move around with. What captivates the beholder is the manner through which the artist narrates. These enthusiasts engage the artist to know how close they are to unraveling the mystery of his mind. First time I'm saying it, to be honest, it evokes some excitement because it, ex it evokes some reflection. It evokes, um, it speaks to you basically. Uh, you see the piece and you cannot help it. Messages just come, come across from them rather plainly. It's not something you see um, easily. So for me, it speaks quite plainly of um, raw talent and someone who, who is probably putting in um, quite a bit more than just, let's just put up a work of art, you know, or put up something that's just purely decorative. But here I see something that's both decorative and um, expressive of a message. The employment of surrealism and figurative symbolism as styles in this exhibition titled Morphogenesis is as complex a style as his subject matter, the mind. And for John Madu, it does not get more complicated than that. Drawing inspiration from the human psychic, the art is a form of research on how to analyze people on site based on the untapped resources of the mind and digression of human relationships, commitments, fears, priorities, and whatever the mind thinks up. My subject as a woman is, um, we talk about women and the way they infuse themselves in society. And as you can see from her angle and the way she poses and everything, shows she's fashionable. And you see paparazzi taking pictures of her, but she has hollow eyes. It just shows how women are in society, how important they are in our everyday um, basic things we believe in. Then this is called Within Without. It shows man, an ambitious man, the way his ambitions affect his relationships with people, the way men, because we are chasing stuff, we're chasing things, chasing money, chasing, um, chasing dreams. Our relationships are usually affected by um, all these things we believe in. That's why I portrayed a female figure inside the figure as a whole, basically. Then that one is called the gift of hope, and it talks the the red flag is actually metaphorical for planting a new world and the way we have utopia in our minds, the way we want our world to be, the way we think our world should be. So it's metaphorical and you see from the tree, the tree is symbolic for life and all that. So I put a touch of red to make it show life because red is vibrant. The works are a period of two years and for John, every second was worth it. Can I do one more time? 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 Can I do
I look at this painting and I see someone who sort of wishes that they had stopped at some point, you know? And this has some spiritual sort of connotation to it, yeah. So, I don't know, it did caught my eye and that's all, I'm probably rambling, but that's all, the, all that it's saying to me, just looking at it, basically, yeah. I've been drawing since I was a child, but I started painting professionally seven years ago. And I didn't study art, I studied policy and strategic studies, but I've always been in the arts, I've always had influences from different artists. My friend's father owns a gallery and he spurred me into the arts. You know, but my style basically is, I have different styles for different seasons, but my style right now is um, symbolic expressionism because I use iconographic materials to portray issues as metaphors, basically. John Madu is a self-taught artist attempting to bridge art and emotions. How successfully he has achieved this depends on the feeling of the beholder, and it appears from how he touches on almost all subjects of the mind, it will be difficult not to be drawn in. <music> Very interesting exhibition there. But in a moment, we'll have more artifacts for you to feast your eyes on, so don't go anywhere. He became the second novelist to receive Nigeria's highest and most prestigious national prize for academic and intellectual attainment since the award was inaugurated in 1979. 